take us back to where it all began uh, for you. Where are you from? Well, I was born in Sligo, and uh, that happened kind of by accident, if you like, because I come from a family of travelling fit-up uh, entertainers, and uh, my mother uh, went back to Sligo, where she came from, so that I could be born. So as soon as I could, uh, I suppose maybe I was two weeks old when I was brought away again and back out on the road. And the family entertainment show was called the Dusky Dan's Travelling Variety Show. Yeah, my grandfather was Dusky Dan and uh, he started a travelling long before television. People didn't have TV in their homes at the time, certainly didn't have cinemas in rural Ireland. And he started a fit up road show. There were quite a few of them at the time uh, in 1924 and went on the road with my grandmother whom he met. She she was 16 and he was 35 right. and married with children. I don't think she knew that. And he threw the old glad eye on her. Uh, one day he was walking through St. George's Market in Belfast and her mother had a bric-a-brac bric stall, second, second hand clothes. And she would attract customers, my grandmother would, uh, Maggie O'Dee, by singing. And she had a wonderful voice and uh, she was a wonderful yodeler. And my grandfather passing through one day, him already a performer himself, banjo player, singer, vaudeville type thing, um, he would stop by more frequently and um, eventually talked her into running away with him across the border uh, with the promise that he would make her a star and she would sing in all these big theatres all over Ireland. Well, she ended up living in a very small caravan and uh, being mother to eight children and performing every night. So that's where it started. And tell me about your brothers and sisters, your brothers and sisters. Well. My f first of all, my, I suppose my father, there were eight siblings and they would have been the people that did the show every night. It would have been a play, uh, sketches. My uncle, my father's brother, was a magician and a hypnotist. My mother sang and played clarinet. My father was a comedian. And then following on from that, I was born. And um, when they brought me home from the hospital, they didn't have a cot. They couldn't afford a cot. So they put me into a drawer. Thankfully, they didn't right. close it. They kept it open. <laughs> right. And if they needed a baby uh, for a play or something, they would just come take me out of the drawer and bring me on stage. Uh, my earliest members, memories would be from three years of age, uh, tap dancing, singing, um, assisting the magician and whatever. And then as you asked my father, um, uh, he would have taught me an awful lot and my grandfather did too. So what a wonderful way to have learnt my craft, if you like. Children are like sponges, aren't they? Right. Yeah. You know, so they would, you know, soak up everything around them. So I soaked up all of this around me, and and so learnt my craft as a, as a very young child. And then I went on to um, my brother. Sadly, passed away. He he came after me, and he passed away at five months old, tragically. And then my sister Barbara, whom you knew, that's you, right. Uh, she came eight years after me, and there was just the two of us. And she sang with me, as you know, in the Eurovision.